Okay, what's up? Mga ka-investa sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Kamusta ko yun dyan, mga chong? So, para sa mga di pa nakakakilala sa akin, pakilala lang ako. My name is Paolo. And you may know me as a Toma Trader sa Investagrams community. So, bakit nga ba ako gumagawa ng video ngayong araw? Well, for the past few weeks, nakikita ko si Boss JC gumagawa din ng mga video. So, syempre ako, hindi ako magpapatalo sa kanya. Pero ngayon, yung mga video siya, check nyo, yun nagturo siya um, how to uh, choose the right IPO, yung sell on news na pattern, tapos ano nangyari dati kay MBT nung nagka-stock dips. So, mas ano yun, mas pang medyo intermediate-ish na level. So ngayon, yung video na gagawin ko is targeted, is for, is dedicated rather para sa mga newbies dyan na nagsisimula pa lang sa market. And yung ituturo ko ngayon is uh, one of the core concepts that you need to learn in technical analysis kung nagsisimula ka pa lang. And that is support and resistance. Diba? So mostly gagawin ko ngayon is um, to give examples rather than puro textbook definition. No? Pero ito, simulan natin kagad. Na examples. Say for example to, si Wilcon. So, punta tayo dito. Itong area to, yan. So, when you say support and resistance, yung analogy kasi dyan, parang floor, floor, tsaka ceiling. Diba? So, support, yung mostly textbook definition, that's an area kung saan pumapasok yung mga buyers. Because the stock market, parang lang siyang kahit anong palengke. Diba? It's a market for stocks and the price is driven by demand and supply. And the only way for prices to go up is kapag malakas yung demand. Diba? Tapos kung maraming buyers. Tapos yung resist, so yun yung support level. That's where the buyers deem, deem the price or the stock to be cheap. So doon sila bumibili. Tapos yung resistance naman, doon yung parang feeling na expensive na yung stock. Tapos maraming sellers, so doon nagbebenta yung mga tao. Or mas maraming supply, hindi kinaya ng demand. So basically, ang support, for example, ito. The support level is an area where the price has a hard time going below. Nahirapan siya buo ba sa area na yun. Bakit? Kasi maraming buyers. So maraming nagsusupport sa stock. Tapos yung resistance naman, that's an area where maraming sellers and the price has a hard time you know, um, breaching. So parang nauuntog siya doon. So, kung nakita nyo ito, yan. Yan ang support and resistance. So, di ba sa market, yung sinasabi, buy low, sell high. So, parang ito yun. Buy on support, tapos sell on resistance. So, ganyan. So, parang upside mo dyan, 11%. Di ba? So, if you buy on support sa green area, bili mo lang dun. Tapos, of course, dapat may risk management, which is something you should also learn. Tapos, pag umabot sa resistance, pwede ka na magbenta dun. So, yun lang. Ganun ka basic lang. And this can this concept can be applied kahit anong stock, blue chip, small cap, uh, medium caps, kahit anong market, gold, silver, global markets. Tapos kapag, let's say, mas naging advanced trader ka na, alam mo na lahat, Fibonacci, RSI, MACD, everything, alam mo na, babalik at babalik ka pa rin support and resistance. Kasi support and resistance, that's um, price action, price structure. So, yung parang, ito talaga yung foundation na kailangan mong matutunan. So, let's give a uh, few more examples. Let's say BDO. Ito, blue chip naman. Ito, sakto. Itong area na to. Yan. So, parang kapag ikaw magpa-practice ka mag-plot ng support and resistance, yan lang. Ito, support. Itong area na to. Yung presyo has a hard time going below that area. Tapos, yung resistance is an area where yung presyo nahirapan umangat. So, ito yun. So, 140 na area. Weather red. So, upside mo dito, let's say, nag-buy ka support, 125, 124. Benta mo, somewhere near 140. Again, 10%, 11% na upside, which is decent na rin yun, di ba? Lalo na if you're just beginning. So, a few more examples. Let's say, wholesale. Ito, perfect example. You know. Yan. It, so, hanapin mo lang, saan ba yung resistance? Dito yan, sa may area na to. The price has a hard time going above this area in 15 pesos. Tapos yung support dito sa area na to. Sa may 1350 to 1380. Parang ganyan, ay sorry. Parang ganyan, yun. Tapos kung bibili ka support, 
kasi bibili ka 13.50 tapos benta mo 15. Oh, parang lagi na lang 11-12% di upside, no? Pero nagkakataon lang sa examples natin, no? Um, pero decent swing na yun. Kasi one last example. to random lang talaga. MPI. Oh, ito sakto. Ayun, no? So, dapat, pag na-practice mo na to visually pa lang, malalaman mo na, ah, ito yung support, ito yung resistance, kahit di ka na mag-drawing ng mga box-box na ganyan, no? So, parang yan. Ito yung area of support. Di ba, dyan? Tapos yung resistance, and dito naman, sa may area na to Parang yan, no? Anywhere near 5.30 to 5.50, good area to sell na yan. Tapos kung bibili ka on support, dito yan, sa may 4.30, 4.40, tapos benta na sa resistance, ito, upside mo 20%, di ba? So, yun guys, basic na basic lang. One of the core concepts na kailangan nyo matutunan kung nagsisimula pa lang kayo sa merkado um, as a trader. Pero ngayon, yung tanong talaga. So, boss, lagi na lang ba ganyan, buy on support, sell on resistance? Hindi. So, what happens ngayon kapag, syempre, nabasag yung support or kapag nabasag yung resistance? So, ang tabayanan nyo sa susunod na video na gagawin ko. Diba? Pero guys, o nga pala, mention ko lang din. Diba? Kasi medyo hassle, no? Magdo-drawing ka pa ng box, ng box. Diba? So, tanggal natin yan. Pinutin lang ito. Support SNR. Para sa mga Investa Prime users dyan, you gain access to automated charting tools. Para automatic na lahat. So, based kung tatamat ka mag, ano, plot or nahihirapan ka pa, yan lang. Pinutin mo lang support and resistance. Yan, sakto. Yung green na area, support. Yung red na area, resistance. Para at least, automatic na lahat. So, kapag other stock, same lang. Um, pwede mo i-leave on automatic. So, yan, si Wilcon. Tapos, nangyari, yan, si na ASPH. So, automatic na kapag Investa Prime user ka. So, yun lang guys. marami salamat and hopefully may na-provide all value sa mga newbies dyan. And see you sa next video natin.